Hi, and welcome back to Darren Bernard's Poor Boy Crafts. Uh, today, we're going to uh, make a uh, city fountain. Um, we're going to have some fun with that. And But uh, before we start with that, make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, like the post and uh, share it with all your friends so we can get our name out there. And we're going to just enjoy and have some fun today. So what we're going to make is basically this right here. <clears throat> Um, it's going to be a little bit littler because uh, when I made this one, uh, all I had was a Walt Disney princess and a uh, McDonald's thing. So it's, that was the bigger, but we're going to uh, try to duplicate this again. So uh, I have a hard time duplicating things. So, But uh, we're going to try and make this one right here. Okay, but this is basically what it's going to look like when we're done. So uh, first thing you're going to need... Just a piece of scrap uh, foam board. And I use a lid uh, approximately about two and a half inches in diameter. And <clears throat> we're basically going to bring that around like that. And while we're here, I'm going to take your uh, ruler. Measure about a half inch out. And then we're just going to cut these two things out. Okay, we got them cut out. Um, I've already removed the uh, backing off of one side of the circle. Okay, now we got a... Uh, our little strip here, straighten it up a bit. Now this one, we're gonna take it right down the table. Just like yes. We'll do that a couple of times. I broke it a bit. That's okay. It don't need to be all that long. We'll get it so that it wraps around this right here. Just like that. Then we're going to remove the on both sides. And then we'll cut it to match the size. Alrighty. That done. That's pretty much how that'll look. Make sure the black uh, backing is on the bottom. We're we'll gonna go ahead and glue that in place. First of all, we'll start with a little bit of glue. And That's on there. There we go. Ooh, that's hot. We'll just go around this whole thing and make sure that it uh, glues on. Okay, we got all that glued on there. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, style in the brick. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our pencil. I'm going to use the old carpenter's trick. We're going to put our uh, finger against the bottom and the pencil right against our uh, forefinger there, our middle finger, and just... Go around the whole edge. That keeps you at an even
way you can make a straight line all the way around the circle. Just like that. Got a straight line all the way around. I might want to go back in to make it deeper. Once you got the line. But you're going to want it to stand out once you get the paint on. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, and then all you gotta do is go down the bottom one about every half inch or so, and then make a straight up and down mark. <coughs> make sure your indentions are going in deep. Just like so and just turn it over go back to the top and in between all of the marks you're going to want to put a mark Just like that. Now, as the old saying goes, the devil is in the details. Right on the top, where you put a mark all the way around it, you're going to want to place a mark at the top, pushing in. That fills in. the brick and then we'll go around on the inside and finish the brick on the inside as well that way it fills the illusion of the brick now we've got our marks on the outside now we'll come along the inside There we go, just like that. And that will finish the illusion up. Now, I'm gonna take our gun and I'm gonna fill the whole bottom of this up with glue, as soon as I For some reason my gun ain't wanting to push glue through. There we go. Had an air pocket in there. Now I ain't gonna fill it all the way to the top. I'm gonna fill it about halfway. This is gonna give the illusion of water. Now, before this dries, I'm going to put a base for my statue. And I'm going to use a bottle cap. This regular Mountain Dew bottle cap. I'm going to put it just about center. 
where center should be. Right there like that. <coughs> now, I'm gonna push all that over. Then I'm going to make waves as it dries. Don't want it to be I don't want it to be flat. <clears throat> I have to wait for it to dry a little bit more and then do that again. There we go. There was big wave. Wanting to lay back down. So you just want to keep doing this until you get some texture to it. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to dry with texture. But if you keep on doing at it, it will it will stand up. It will start to stand up before it dries. Okay, there we go. Now we got some texture in there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Okay, but uh, we got that in there. So uh, it's still kind of tacky, but we're going to go ahead to the next uh, step. We're going to place the figurine in there. Now, I got lucky and uh, found this where I work. They threw out some games. And this is a little princess game. Don't really need that. Don't need the cards. But hey, they've got little figurines, little princess figurines. So that'll sit right nicely right there. So yeah, they're a little bit different, but they, they, these are smaller. But this is the right size. Let's see. This is a regular uh, guy. That's the right size for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue, just a little, little bit of glue on the bottom of that, and just tack that onto there, just like that. Let that dry on there, and prepare my. Okay, now first of all, the first coat is, of course, the black. So I'm going to go ahead and start on it. I'll start here and then uh, just work my way around it, and then we'll get it done. Okay, she's all dry, <clears throat> looking good for the uh, first base coat. Uh, now for my grays, I want to use a... Let's see. Oh, let's see. Granite gray. Should I? I'll use a dark gray on the base and a granite gray on the on the uh, statue. Yeah. That's a, that'll be a good uh, matchup. 
And then, of course, a blue, admiral blue on the color, on the water. So, let's start with the base. Okay. Get that painted. Alrighty, uh, she's pretty much all dry. I'm gonna grab out my black wash over here. Wanna give it a little bit of a black wash, especially on the statue, because I want that to be really. Really weathered. I want that to be weathered down. And the base itself. I want that to be weathered down really good. So. I'm going to black wash that really good. Let's run the black wash through the water. Now you really tell the texture in the water now that it has some uh, paint on it. Just bring the brush around the rest of it. And there you go. One fountain. Like I said, this one's a little more fountain than the other one and I never put a black wash all the way through that one. But it's a little bit littler and but this one is actual size you know a guy walks up to a fountain wants to throw his copper piece in for good luck and there he is one fountain for an accessory you know in your town um, for your gaming needs and happy happy joy joy y'all have a good day now